if you can even tell my eyeliner. I swear it's not just black blobs. <laughs> I did the spider web. Can you even tell? Probably not. I'll put a picture in for proof. <laughs> All right, friends. Hello. Welcome to a new video. It's Lisa, and I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be announcing that Trick or to Readathon Round 2 is happening this October. So last year, a few of my friends here on BookTube decided to host a Halloween spooky themed readathon during October because we all love the spooky season and we decided to bring it back this year. So I'm going to have all of my fellow co-hosts linked below in the description. Please go and subscribe and watch their announcement videos. I think we're announcing our videos in waves so I will keep that description updated with their announcement videos as they come. Some of them are doing some fun things in their announcement videos so you're definitely not going to want to miss them. But yeah, we're very excited. So Let's go over some of the rules before we get into the prompts. So this is a month-long readathon happening from October 1st through October 31st, and it's a very chill readathon. There's no like teams or points you have to track, anything like that. It's just prompts and reading. That's it. <laughs> we also do have a Twitter and an Instagram as well, which I highly suggest following both because we are going to be posting some things leading up to the readathon as well as during the readathon. I know we have a bingo board coming with some spooky activities you can do throughout the month as well. So just kind of a little bonus fun thing to do. So I would highly recommend following us there. Our Instagram is at trick underscore or underscore to readathon and our Twitter is just trick T readathon. I'll have them linked in the description below so you guys can go and follow them. We also are going to have a Google Doc for book recommendations for some of the prompts for this year's Trick or to Readathon. So if you're kind of stuck trying to figure out a book to read for one of the prompts or something, go and check that Google Doc out. We will have plenty of recommendations for you guys. Also, speaking of prompts, yes, you can double up on prompts. I probably will be doubling up on the prompts. So Feel free to read as many little books while completing as many prompts as you can. Do whatever works for you and your TBR and your schedule and everything. But yes, you can definitely double up. It's a very chill readathon. It's just a month of spookiness, which is what we want to prioritize. So yeah, very chill. You can double up. All right, I think that that is all of the info. If I manage to miss anything, I will have it all in the description of this video for you guys to reference, but I think it's time to get into the prompts. So this year the prompts are based off of classic Halloween characters and creatures, and for each character or creature there are a lot of prompts that you can do for each one, so it's very versatile, it's very open for you to kind of choose what works best for you. So for example, I'm going to be looking at my laptop here. <laughs> the first prompt is for Dracula, and that is to read a book with LGBTQ plus rep or read Dracula, or read a Dracula retelling. So within each kind of character or creature, there are a lot of prompts that you can do. So you can kind of do whichever one you want, however it works for you. Next we have Phantom of the Opera, and that is to read a book featuring a love triangle, or read Phantom of the Opera, or read a Phantom of the Opera retelling. The next prompt is for Creature from the Black Lagoon, and that is to read a book featuring a cryptid, or a mythical creature, or a book set around the sea, or read The Lady from the Black Lagoon. The next prompt is for Frankenstein, and that is to read a book written from the villain's perspective, or read Frankenstein, or a Frankenstein retelling. Do you sense a theme here? <laughs> the next prompt is for The Bride of Frankenstein, and that is to read a book featuring an unhealthy relationship. This also could be you read Frankenstein or Frankenstein retelling, so this is a good one to potentially double up with. But also you can read books for each one. You do whatever you want. The next prompt is for The Invisible Man, and that is to read a book featuring a character with special powers, or read a sci-fi book, or read The Invisible Man. The next prompt is for The Mummy, and that is to read a book that is 20 plus years old, or a book inspired by ancient Egypt, or you read The Mummy. The next prompt is for The Wolfman, and that is to read a book where a character goes through a transformation, or read a book featuring a werewolf. And then the final prompt for this readathon is for The Raven, and that is to read a book with mental health representation, or a book with a black cover, or you could read The Raven. But that is the final prompt for this readathon. So as you can see, there's kind of a lot of prompts within each character that we chose for the readathon. So 
I think that it will be pretty open and pretty versatile for every type of reader for you to find books that you want to read in October. So I hope you guys like the prompts. I hope you guys are excited. We're very excited to be hosting it again this year. I'm very excited for spooky season so I'm just excited to read some spooky books. I hope you guys are going to participate with us. Again we have an Instagram and a Twitter linked below. Make sure you go and follow us to keep up with what we're going to be doing throughout the month. Any sprints, the bingo board, anything fun like that we will be posting there. So yeah definitely follow us there to keep up with the readathon and I think that that is it for this announcement video. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you're going to be participating. Any spooky books you're excited to read during the month I'd love to know. And again all of the info and my co-hosts all of that stuff is in the description of this video so go and check that out. But I think that that is going to be it for this announcement video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!